Good evening. Good evening. Give me one minute. I'll be back. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I am fine. <laughs> Good. Good, thank you, teacher. Good, nice. Are you see, I am fine. Yeah, like I'm fine. Yeah. I'm energetic. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, welcome back. What's today's date? Thursday. The last Thursday. Thursday, right. Which month? March. March. March, right. What is the date? It's Thursday. The date? 11? 11. 11, right, right. And what's the year? 20, 20. 2020. 2020. Ah, 20, 21. 21. 2021. That is 2021. Correct. Yes. All right. Good. 
So let's begin. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Yes, the questions. What questions? Um, at the beach. At the beach. At the beach. Right. What is your favorite beach in El Salvador? I, I, my favorite beach in El Salvador is Costa del Sol. Okay, right. Someone else? My favorite beach is El Sunsal. Yeah, El Sunsal is nice, right? Someone else? My favorite beach is Cuco. El Cuco, El Cuco is, is nice. I like mm -hmm. El Espino. El Espino is nice too. Really? Yeah, it's flat. It's okay. flat. Yep. But El Espino needs more development more investment okay okay so we were talking I know about the difficulties is traffic the uh and the beach uh what do you mean the traffic is okay um it, the, oh, the, the waves wave. the wave. no no waves no waves it's flat it's flat so there are no waves Okay, so what oh, yes, uh -huh. what aspects make a beach interesting? What aspects make a beach interesting? Um is well is rural, yes or no? Uh okay, let me yeah, most of the beaches they are in the rural area. So is it? Yeah. What aspects make a beach attractive? Anybody? Can somebody answer that question? The sun. Uh huh. And I like to see the sunset. Good, the sun is really good, and I like to bañarme. I don't know. I, I like to bathe, bathe, bathe. I like to bathe. Good, okay. Do you prefer the sunset or the sunrise? What is the rain? The beach must be clean. Okay, the beach must be clean. The sunset happens late afternoon or evening. The sunrise happens very early. Okay, afternoon. So do you prefer the sunset or the sunrise? The sunrise. The sunrise? The sunrise. Yes, sunrise and sunset. Okay, yeah, they're very similar. Right, I think the sunrise is better. You know, you the, a new a new day. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Any questions? No. Okay, let's see. Sun. No. Sunset. I love it. Yeah, the sunset is very nice. Sunset is very nice. Yeah, the, I, I prefer the sunrise. If you say, do you prefer to see the sunset or the sunrise? I was saying, I'll prefer the sunrise. Anyways, uh, anything else? What about the distance? Is the distance a factor? Yes. Do you think the distance is a factor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I live the, I live near to the sea. Okay, good. So in that case, you are used to the beach, right? No, because I have fear. Oh, okay. Do you swim? Yes. Do you swim? A little bit, but uh, in a area, uh, uh, on the shore. Yes. Uh huh. Sure. Okay. Remember that swimming is a life skill. Swimming can save your life. 
Swimming can change your life. Yes, okay. and I can I can swim. Okay. Yeah, swimming is necessary. Yes. All right. Any questions or comments about yesterday? No. No. Okay. So um how many tenses are there in English? Well. 12. 12 is correct. 12. 12 is correct. So if I tell you, el show empieza mañana, which tense am I using? The shows are going to start tomorrow. Okay, the show. It's future. Right. You say the show starts tomorrow. Yes, it's future. Which tense am I using? Which tense am I using? Present. Simple present. Present. Right. But the meaning is in future. How do you know that it's future? And um, will and tomorrow um, and going to be okay no listen this particular example the show starts tomorrow it's it's future how do you know that it's future for the word tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow excellent the time expression the time expression but the tense is simple present right yes is that clear so you can perfectly use the simple present with a time expression to talk about uh, future activities. The show starts in two weeks. The show starts next Monday. The show starts next year. So the message is in future, but you're using the simple present form. Teacher. Right? Yes, sir. We do not have uh, the word will. Not in this case. The time expression transfer you to future. Another example. Ask me what I'm doing this weekend. What activities you will do this weekend? Okay, good. I'm visiting my siblings. I'm visiting my siblings. Is that future or is it right now? No, there is no. present Future. Future. How do you know that it's future? What was the question? Oh, and I understand because the question is in future. The answer is also in future. Right. So, Louis said, what plans do you have for this weekend? This weekend is future. So, when I say I'm visiting my siblings, I'm saying... Voy a visitar a mis hermanos. That is future because he mentioned the word this weekend. Is it clear? Teacher, sorry. Yes. Sorry, teacher. Yes, yes Max. But you, you, are, you are saying I am visiting to my family. Uh, I, I, I think there is present continuous. No, it's future because you are do, you don't do so going to. Okay. Uh, why? Good, good observation. Observe. Good observation. In a way, you are. Now, if you want to talk about future events, you use will and you use going to. Everybody knows that. Are we okay there? Are we okay yes. there, class? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. But yes, teacher. you can use the simple present or you can use the present continuous to talk about future events with one condition. What is the condition? You need to mention a time expression. So Louis' question says, what plans do you have for this weekend? This weekend is future. So I said, I'm visiting my siblings. So if I call you Saturday at 2 p.m. and I said, Max, what are you doing right now? Um, I'm here in San Vicente and I'm visiting my siblings. But that is an action uh, that is taking place at the time you're speaking. So once again, you can talk about future events using the present continuous or the simple present, but you need to uh, mention a time expression. Okay. 
Thank you, teacher. Yes. The key is the, the, the time, time expression. Time. Exactly. That's it. Yes. Uh, I'm glad so, to you, teacher. Thank, thank you. Okay. So, how do you say, ¿Qué vas a hacer con el aguinaldo? When do we receive a Christmas bonus? Which on one? December. In, in December. December. In December. On December. So I'm saying, what? Okay, what are you doing do with your Christmas bonus? Saving in the bank. Aha, uh -huh. good. So, what are you doing with your Christmas bonus? ¿Qué vas a hacer con tu aguinaldo? When do we receive the aguinaldo? December. So we know, so we know that automatically we're using, uh, we're talking about something in the future. I use the college, collegiatura. Uh, school. School, school yes. The university. Okay. All right. Any questions or comments? No. No. Okay. So right now. Taking into account the theory we've been discussing, you guys are gonna work in pairs, and you will share the activities you have planned for tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday um, during the day. So let me assign you to work in pairs. And here we go. Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, in this moment, I'm going to drive for my house. Okay. All right, Manuel. So, uh, let me see. Manuel, you were supposed to work with... Okay, can you talk with somebody or do you want to wait until you arrive to your house? Uh, when, I ha uh, when I stay in my house. Okay, so incorporate when you arrive to your house. Got it? Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. All right, go ahead. Very stressed. Um, I am Sales. Um, Sales person. Yes, I am Sales person. Twelve. Okay. What do you sell, Olympia? What do you get? What do you sell? Que vende. Mm -hmm. What do you say? I know, I know sales. No, I support, support. I sell. Sales support. Sales support. Sales support is present, is trading a client. Client. Uh, client. Client. A, a present a client. Um, eh, quiero ver, seguimiento. Follow up. Follow up, yes. Follow um, up. So I, uh, tengo 12 personas a mi cargo. Okay, how do you say that in English? Uh, 12 person sellers. Okay, I have yes. 12 people in charge. Okay, 12 people in charge. In charge. In, in charge. Um, sales. 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 Okay. 
sales. Say sales. Sales. Say sales. Sales. Okay. All right. Nancy. Hola. Hi. Can you hear me? A little bit. Uh, I I I hear choppy interferencia. Okay. I hear you well, Juan Carlos. But yeah, you sound choppy. <laughs> Never yes. mind. Yeah, you sound choppy. I can hear you very well. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Can you check your connection, Juan Carlos? Because I can send you to another room. I can hear. Yeah, you sound choppy. Okay. Give me a, give me a second. I'm going to move you to another room. Okay, thank you. Okay. Assign to here. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, you will go to room four and JC will go to room five. Seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Long time ago. Do you have a buff Do you have a buffet or, or what? No, no. My husband had, but I work in Anda. Oh, that's in great. <laughs> what is your occupation, Jenny? Excuse me, teacher. What is your occupation? I am lawyer. Oh. Mm -hmm. And, and I am for the ANDA offices. In the ANDA offices. I, I, uh -huh. I veo. I check, I see. I, I, uh -huh. I check all the Oriental Zone. Uh, Usulután, La Unión, Morazán, San okay. Miguel. Mm -hmm. where, are you, where are you in this moment? In my house, in San Miguel. Oh. Okay. I live in San Miguel, but I depend Presidencia, San Salvador, okay. Anda, Anda okay. Presidencia. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, good, good. I, I, I need to go to San Salvador two or three, three times in the week. Really? Yeah, it's really pesado. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. hard. Difficult. Hard, it's really Tired. hard. Mm -hmm. Tired. And when you come to San Salvador, do you return the same day? Yes. Yes. My I, 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 I salgo, como se dice? I leave. I leave 4 a.m. for the traffic. 4 a.m. Well, mm -hmm. that's, In the morning. that's early. Yes. And so I, I can, I arrive 6, 7 p.m. A.M. So, yeah, P.M. Huh? P.M. Okay. You, okay. So you come from San, from Oriente at four in the morning. What time do you arrive in San Salvador? Mm, eight. Eight. Seven forty-eight a.m. Okay. And I do lo que tengo que hacer. I do what I have to do. What I have to uh, I do in meetings. And, and finish four, four o'clock. I tengo que ir a comprar algo. <laughs> ya se hace más tarde. Or... Yeah, yeah. I, it's really okay. hard. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me change rooms. Okay. Talk, talk to you later. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Pesa. Here. In 2019, mm -hmm. in 20, I go to the what is the name of this volcano in Guatemala? Um, Pacaya? No, another. Um, uh, the fire volcano? 
it's it's near to Pacaya. Um, well, but but I, I, I don't know the same activities in in, this, in that year. I um, climbed, but I can't reach the um, the top. Of Ah, okay. I live in Olapuilta, so we are neighbors. Neighbors hey. with who? Excellent. Neighbors with Ana, Ana Palma. Palma. Where do you live, Ana Palma? I live in Astoria, Tisha. Oh, okay. Next to Las Astorias. In La Paz. Yes, but uh, my... <laughs> Classmate living on Oculta. Uh -huh. uh, maybe we choose uh, one day for for it pupusas. Sure, it would be a good oh. idea. Yes, that would be yes. a very good idea. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we could meet on a Saturday or a Sunday, maybe. Sunday. Yes, that would be great. Do you know good pupuserias in Oloquilta, Antonio? Uh, yes, of course. But um, actually, I prefer pupusas from Los Planes. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. I That's... believe that they're more delicious. <laughs> really? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Oloquilta is famous for being the pupusa city, you know? Yes. Yes, they are famous because they make uh, pupusas of rice. They made the first pupusas of rice. And then in the old country, uh, sell pupusas uh, for corn and rice. Right, right. In Oloquilta made the uh, big pupusas one year. Yeah, they have the biggest pupusa uh, uh, in the world. That's correct. Yep. Yeah, yes, that's that's correct. Okay, good. Interesting. Let me visit another room. Okay. A platform online. Yes, but it's a difficult situation, I think, but because the children don't don't have a, uh, don't have care about their life, and 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 the uh, and the adults is the same because there are many adults that have coronavirus, and the children, uh, I think they get the coronavirus at the school. <laughs> yeah. That's In true. my case, I think is the the day is very dangerous because yeah. the 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 day is uh, after yeah. of uh, vacation. Mm -hmm. I think is more convenient wait uh, two weeks or three weeks for prevention because uh, many people go out to the vacation and may be contagious with the, the corona, coronavirus. And I think True. it's very, wait, I, I think very, uh, very private call, uh, school, private school uh, may prevent this situation, but the public school, I don't think so because the, the minister say, April 6th, and I think it's a very dangerous the day for me, I, I think. Yeah, yeah cause it, it's like right after uh, vacation, like you said, so, you know, many people will get infected. So mm -hmm. there should be a waiting time. Yes, and the other thing I think uh, is the what I just say, sindicato in English. Union. Union. Union, union mm -hmm. uh, of teacher is say they like to the teacher is vaccine. Make uh -huh. the vaccine before come back to the school 
because of, of many teacher as uh, is a person with uh, what do you say uh, en edad age um, no, sí, no pero que son población vulnerable all the uh, elders elders yes and they don't have the vaccine right right true today the, the union uh, is a mini a meeting with the minister and talk about this this team the, all this right team. yeah i hope they make the the best decision you know so okay let me visit another room the model but i i don't know yeah that that is the case or the option i don't know how to say requisitos Requir that you have to present require mm -hmm. requirements okay. thank you ah, re requirement thank you teacher sure yeah but if you are working okay thanks Sarai. Yeah. Her house because okay. she wants to help her to make a dinner. Okay. Yes. Maybe I'm going to cook a famous pasta. The como se diría que es, que es viral en TikTok. Sí. I don't know. Pero es como se diría, teacher. Voy a cocinar una pasta que ahorita es como viral. Oh, I'm going to cook a viral pasta. Ah, yes. I'm going to cook a viral pasta in TikTok. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, teacher. Yes. All right. Let's Here. go back to the main session. Okay. Welcome back. Thank you. All right. Any questions about how to express ideas in the future tense? I need to speak in English so much. This Good. help me. I, I, it's your turn. Yeah. Me too. Practice makes perfect. I need you practice. Yeah. I need you so much. Yes. 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 All right, so remember we have 12 tenses in English. Some tenses, they are, they have more demand than others, including the simple future, simple present, simple past. Everybody's always using those tenses when they speak. Any questions or comments? I no? have a question. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. who has a question? Nobody Teacher. has a Yes, yes, Luis. Maybe we can have the idea, but it's not the same using the idea. But right. when, when in our conversation with Laura, we, we do the activity, we do the activity. Uh -huh. But um, I think that uh, as Olympia said, we need more practice. Right. Because it's the idea. But when we want to use the rule, uh, it's it's not the same result. Right, right. And, and yes. I, com I completely understand. So remember, um, your goal is to understand other people and also other people can understand you. So we will make mistakes normally the same way we make mistakes in Spanish, but your, your goal has to be communicating ideas. Now, your second goal, communicate ideas well. So it's a process. It's a process. I understand. Any other questions or comments? Teacher. Yes. Uh, I have a question about the 
Ger, Gerun. Gerunds. Gerunds, yes. Uh -huh. And in the platform, there is a one sen we have to construct our uh, sentences. Okay. But I tried to two two times and the la respuesta me sale mala. Okay. Let and, and this is for everybody. Thank you for mentioning that. Um uh, mm -hmm. your answer can be good, but the problem is that whoever introduced the answers to the platform and left it official, maybe this person forgot punctuation or maybe this person left too much space in the answer. So your answer needs to be exactly the same way that the platform has it. So when, whenever anybody in the group is having issues like that, Please contact me and say, Francisco, I'm having problems in the second question of part three about reading. So I will check and I will uh, discuss with you what the problem is. So when okay, you're typing sister, your can answer. I uh -huh. Can I share on the group, the, the WhatsApp? Sure, and, sure. Okay. Yeah, please do. So, and, and, you know, in this situation can happen to anybody. Hey, but that's the right answer. Uh, sometimes you need to eliminate the period. Sometimes you have to add the period. Sometimes you need to include the question mark. And sometimes you need to eliminate the question mark. So sometimes your answer is good, but the problem is punctuation. So be careful with that. Okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. Any other questions or comments? No? No. All right. So let's do this. Let me show you. Remember that today uh, you're supposed to be doing the midterm exam. And once again, if you have uh, questions when you're doing the exercise, don't hesitate and ask me. Okay, what do you think about birthdays? Do you like birthdays? Of course. Yes. yes. Yeah, birthdays are cool. Yes. Especially when you celebrate them. Okay? Yeah. All right, so let me show you the questions that we have for today. Can you see the questions? Let me see this here. Can you see the questions? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So, uh, can somebody please uh, take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp chat before I make the the pairs? Sure. Thank you. On the Four question that is a uh, okay birthday. Yeah, yeah. What's the best birthday present you have ever received? What present would you like for your next birthday? Birthday, excellent. Yes. So this it's is contact. like this is like the informal way of writing birthday. Okay, thank you for explaining. Okay, good. All right, so let me let me see if someone sent the. Uh, okay, questions are right there. Thank you. Four people sent it. That's good. So now let me create the the rooms. Recreate. Recreate. Uh huh. All right, and here we go. Ask and answer the questions. Go ahead.
Yeah. Ah, I, your, I, you, your thing is pieces. I Me went too. to, I went to, uh, go, I went to the restaurant and with my family and share with my, my brother. I think the, the best birthday and the worst birthday that, no. Hi. Hi. No? Yes. Sorry, my connection today is fast. Yeah, you sound choppy, Juan Carlos. Where are you located right now, Juan Carlos? What happened? Okay. I I I don't remember a worst birthday. Um, best birthday but, I yes. But the best. Do you have but, a? Uh huh. Yes, the best I think is uh in the years. To when you. 20, when you 20, 20, 2002. 2002? Yes. It's a special date. <laughs> oh, very well, very well. In my case, I can tell you that... And the, the words uh, were when I have seven years, and my my grandmother died, and it was the bad birthday yes. for me because I missed her a lot. But I think that he she she is with God. And you, Glenda? Mm -hmm. We were alive. Okay. Yeah, I I was. I can I can Is hear you. I can hear you well. I hear you a little bit choppy. Oh, I'm sorry. But now no, you sound, now it's now okay. you sound good. Yeah. Now, now it's okay. 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 What's the best birthday present you have ever? Okay. Mm -hmm. This a bed. <laughs> uh -huh. A bed for the kids. Oh, so in this moment you don't have a bed. Yes, but my mom. Very old. <laughs> It's a, a new bed for new my bed. <laughs> a present for for my video game. Okay. Mm -hmm. Question. What present would you like for your next birthday? Money. Let, and I know it's a year. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like when I mm, meet a new place. Uh, I like it when I can share with my family.
still here, nobody have given me a very good present that I yeah. am very, very happy, right? Just, mm. <laughs> just okay. that. Oh. And, what, and what about you, Josabeth? What's the best birthday present you have ever received? <laughs> okay. Um, I was telling to Jenny that my best uh, birthday present was uh, when my father gave me a, a cell phone. <laughs> when my best friend gave me a necklace. An echo. Neko. Oh, como se dice echo? Necklace. Necklace. Ah, neko, yeah. Necklace. Nice. Good. Ah, okay. What was was a, a gold necklace? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> helmet. Um, security helmet. Uh, or cycling helmet. What is the correct word? Uh, what what kind of word do you want to say? Um, it's the, what? Yeah, cycling, cycling uh, helmet. Yeah, and then the the, the word is is correct, right? Yeah, helmet. yeah, a, a, a cycling uh, helmet. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Then yeah. it, it is the 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 present. I am waiting for this birthday. Juan Carlos, welcome. Ninth grade. Uh, it's younger year. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to read the next question. The next okay. Uh, um, how do Salvadorans celebrate their birthday? Well, I ha uh, eat cake and yeah. <laughs> what another thing? What what question are you discussing right now? Number uh, six. the number six. Oh, how do Salvadorians celebrate their birthday? There are many ways to celebrate. Yeah, uh, teacher, how do you say uh, reunirse? Gather. A uh, gather. Yeah, Salvadorians okay. gather. Yeah. Or they get together. Now they get okay. together. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Some special food for that day? Mm hmm. Or the, or, or, what do you want to say? I understand. Okay, they decide to go out. Ah. Um, and some Salvadoran family decide to go outside. No, come on, come on. To go out, go to out. Go out, maybe they visit um, the beach or a, a restaurant. Right. Or or they go to the, some, no, they go to a bar, a bar. Yeah, bar, they go to a bar and they drink. Yes. Teacher, this in this question, the verbs are in the base form. Right. Because you're using the uh, simple present. Oh, Salvadorians, you know, if there is a birthday, they eat pupusas, they go to a bar, they get drunk, they have a barbecue. Everything is in the simple present tense. Mm. Y aunque estemos hablando en algún... Because it's general. It's general. Mm -hmm. So the simple present is used to talk about general information. But in the question that was, what the best and worst birthday you, you ever have? Okay, then in that case, you use simple past. Simple past. Yeah. 
Oh, my best birthday was a time that I was at the beach with my family, blah, blah, blah. My worst birthday was a time that I prepared the reunion, but nobody came and, and so on. So it's impossible. But the verbs are, um, se usan con ed. Con... If it's regular, yes. If they're yes. regular, you use ed, right. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Noris, hello. Hello. Hello, Noris. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Okay. Sorry about 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 the the, the sound. Okay. Next next question. Okay. Do you think people should stay home instead of going to work or school on their birthday? Birthday. Good. Birthday. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to, to repeat. Uh, do, you, do you think people uh, stay home to work or school on birthday? Okay, I think people maybe stay mm, in her work in her next birthday because the, uh, there is important to compromise and compromise birthday, compromise yes compromise compromise say the teacher and and for example we have compromise of work or and if you don't work you don't you don't have any money for pay some bill okay. and birthday is 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 important day but there is there is a simple day <laughs> for okay. Riva. Okay. Yes, I understand. Okay. okay, next next question. Okay, uh, how the Salvadorian celebrate the, their birthday? Okay, Max, how the Salvadorian Manuel. Hello, teacher. Are you in your house? I'm back in the back in my house. Good, good. Are you in San Salvador? Yes, in San Salvador. What part of San Salvador? Uh, Bernal Avenue. Good. All right, let's wait for the others to come back. Still have half of the, they're coming back in five seconds. Yeah. Tomorrow we have class? No, classes are only Monday, Tuesday, 
Wednesday and Thursdays. Thursdays. Right. Yeah. Right. Thank you, teacher. All right. So let me show you. Let me show everybody here uh, what you should be doing. This is the midterm exam that we expect everybody to finish and, and send it. Uh, phrasal verbs. Uh, do you remember imperatives? What are imperatives? Could you, should you, can you? Right. So remember, imperatives are when you're giving instructions or when you are giving orders to somebody. Don't forget to take your ATM card. Don't forget to call your mother and so on. So that is the first part. Then uh, it's very similar. The exercise is very similar. The only thing is that right here, you need to rewrite the sentences, uh, including could you, would you, would you mind, can you? So you're, you're using imperatives. Then we have the listening exercise. Remember there is a listening uh, for every question. Uh, there are three options. So listen to the same audio again and again and again until you get the right uh, answers. Uh, then you go to the reading section. You need to read this here. And, and once again, if you need to read, the, if you need to read it uh, three, four, or five times, go ahead, do it. And after you finish the reading, you answer the questions uh, that they are asking you. Then you have the matching. Before a young man, and women speak, what do they usually do? So it's a, it's a matching, you're supposed to, to write the compliment for each uh, sentence. Any questions about the exam? No? No, teacher. No? No, teacher. No, teacher. All right. So any questions or comments about today's class? Remember, try to be present every day, especially if this is the only space that you have to practice the language, you know, make the sacrifice, make the effort, and come to class and practice your questions or comments. No? Okay, so if you don't have any questions we're going to finish right here thank you for your time have a nice weekend okay thank you teacher good night everyone see you the next bye -bye. Monday. see you next monday yes goodbye bye bye Nancy and Manuel, are you there?